Welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Tyson J. We just cleared episode 4 and now we are going to move ahead into the game of our next exciting episode, namely called Changing Destinies. The Nanashiko has returned to normal space, confirming coordinates. Wake up, everyone. Hey, you. Hello? Wake up, everyone. Captain, this is no place to take a nap. Wake up. Mm, but Akito... I can't eat anymore. Captain? Captain! Make up, Captain! Mm? Oh, why good morning, Ruby. What happened, Maui? We returned to normal space. No abnormalities detected. It appears we've returned to the Earth sphere without any serious issues. <laughs> Whoa, we're back? We returned in one piece? So it appears. We return, huh? <laughs> Take a good look at that. We made it back to Earth, guys. I can't believe it. I never thought I would live to see it again. Have we really been saved? David, could you punch me? I'm terrified I'm going to wake up back on Mars in any minute now. Please don't say stuff like that, Ron. David's an awfully suggestible guy. <laughs> you guys are just too much. Still, if we really manage to make it back, then... So. That planet's Earth. That's right, Ichi. That's our homeland. The planet you want to see so much. <laughs> How do you feel? Happy. Truly happy. It's a beautiful plant, just as I suspect just as I expected. I came here to ensure that it re retains that sparkle. Too bad it's in such a dire state right now. But anyway, Mr. A.G. Asuka, allow me to welcome you to our planet. And before I continue this, um, a uh, short little thing about Eiji's name in this game. No Albatroll Eiji Asuka. For, for this, he has two names. On Grados, he's called No Albatroll. Albatroll. Or Albatroll No. Either way, that's his name on Grados. His human name is A.G. Asuka. So that's the reason why he has the name Nol Abutro A.G. Asuka. One side is his, his Gredoshian name and the other side is his human name. So the same goes with Julia's name. Since she is just the same as AG, well, you know, that kind of says it all. I think it's a little early for that, Captain. Yeah, the Jovian lizards are roaming the Earth sphere. And there's also the Plant Federation War going on. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on back on that Blue Orb of ours. Still confirming. We're finally back, then. Back to Earth. Oh. It's a bunch, Toya. You did your best to keep Takaichi and the rest of us safe. Oh, cut it out. All I wanted to do was survive. Sure, but it's something to be happy about, yeah? At least we have this much. That's right. But we lost Mr. Daigoji and the Admiral. We've taken just one wrong step on Mars. God, I'm sick of all of this fighting! 
Sorry for relying on you so much, Toya. That's the same thing my pa my my family says. And what do they do? Push me to death. That's not what I mean. What? He's hey, where's Kido? Is he locked up in his room? Sure has been through a lot lately. Yes, especially after what happened to Mr. Yamada. Akito, the only one who can comfort me is... The only... Akito... I gotta read that over. Akito, the only one who can comfort him is me, his lover. Wait for me, sweetie, I'm coming! That's what she said. Wait, really? What was that just now? Seems a nearer... It seems a nearby UEFA battalion is engaged in battle. Already? So who are the opponents? Jovian lizards or maybe Saft? Doesn't matter who it is. We gotta avoid contact with the UEFA no matter what. Indeed. No, they're not the... They're not the Jovians, nor Saft. They're... Hmm. That's strange. They're fighting amongst themselves and... Well, since this is Nagal's only warship and all. Don't forget that the mech beasts and reclaimers can't get into outer space. Living heat signatures detective. Whatever it is that's fighting the army isn't comprised of mobile weapons. They're probably life forms. Life forms? What do you mean? Aggressive movement from the steel life forms. How strange. <laughs> Enough with the... Whatever you call that, Izumi! They seem to be some kind of... Unknown life forms native to, the, native to space. Or perhaps they're some kind of biological weapon. Maybe they're the real Jovian lizards! I'm not so sure about that. Eiji? Nah. They definitely aren't Red Ocean. Federation forces annihilated. They're coming our way. They're going to attack us? Well, yeah, it's not obvious. Face transition engines, full power! We have to escape! <coughs> no good. The engines are still heavily damaged from our time on Mars. Output at half capacity. We cannot run away. Hmm. In that case, prepare for combat at once! Concentrate engine output in order to maintain the field. All hands to battle stations. Be ready to attack the enemy as soon as they're in range. What's going on? Maybe you should come to the bridge next time, dumbass. It's the enemy. Some unknowns are attacking the ship. Enemy. Unknowns. Yoko, what do you mean? Are they the, some Jovian lizards or something? That's exactly what we're so confused. First they trashed some fetties, and now they're gunning for us. Seems like they're some kind of space life forms or something. Space life forms? We don't have time to discuss this now! We'll straighten everything out once we get back to the Outer Space Development Group. For now, all we know is they're coming for our heads, and we gotta defend the ship. Age Ruin! You come too! You finally made it back to the Earth you you yearn for so desperately. There's no damn way you're gonna die now. Roger. Hey Shun, what are you lounging around for? You don't even know what the enemy's cable is, so there's no way you can you get the slack off. Come on already! Ah oh, damn it. It's one thing after another on this boat. We've no choice. They're attacking us after all. Yeah, I'm all too aware. Damn it, what's everyone doing? Transmission. Akito, are you right? Megumi. Don't worry, other people can see this transmission. That dear old prospector found a message in the Admiral's quarters that seems to be addressed to you. Looks like he intended to die on Mars right from the start and also... Is that supposed to make everything alright? 
Am I supposed to forgive him? He should have lived! He should have lived in shame for what he did to the people of Mars! Hell, he even, he even managed to get God caught up in, this, in his mess! Akito, dying to protect his friends. That's, that's happen that happened in Gekigenger too. That's what this TV show is all about. Sure, he saved our lives, but... It's... The, the way everyone's acting, it's bizarre! They're not, they're not even sad about what happened. Guy was our friend. He sacrificed his life for our sakes. But everybody's just so happy to be alive that they can't even find time to give a damn about him! I don't even see anything... I don't see, every, see anyone wanting to do their best on his behalf. I'm the only one who's busy grieving. It's the worst. That's not true, Akito. You aren't alone. It's been incredibly painful for me, too. If you weren't here, Akito, I... I don't know what I'd do. Megumi, I... They sure caught up to us, huh? They must really want the ship? Omakane's analysis has finished. They're definitely alive and... They're also definitely from Earth. They definitely aren't from Earth. Genuine space monsters, then! The enemies are confirmed to be space monsters, everyone! Don't worry how weird they look! Just make sure to give them a good spanking! Better do two while you're at it! Well, we got 12 units, so... <laughs> Let's raise some hell, shall we? Toya, did you get that? They'll be heading straight for us soon enough. There's no mistake, it's an attack. We don't know who they are. But they're no doubt the enemy. I know. I figured it would come to this since we heard word from the bridge. Don't worry, though. I've got... <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry, though. I've got enough experience to take take them on. So, we're to kill everything and make sure that Akito, nor the Nashiko, is shot down. Now, for those who are wondering what these enemies are, these are the Rodham. And the Rodham, of course, are the monsters of the day from Uchi no Kishi Tekaman Blade. And just like in the original series, yes, there was the original, only known as Tekaman Blade. There is one person in particular who could indeed take out the Rodham. And that was the mighty warrior known as Tekaman. And as you can see, these sons of bitches are out for blood. Apparently they won't attack us yet. But they are out for blood. It's perfect because, well... The way we're stationed, it's perfect. We just stay right here. We give them a good old fashioned. Rocket the punch! There's a 
okay if we mark them. It's, it's quite all right. That's okay with him, Mark. It's more easier to hit that way. Like I said, what, what I'm going to do in, fir in the first turn is we're just going to mark him. Second turn. Kill him. AG, they don't have a generator. God, I love the fact that I <laughs> basically just put mobility on him. Extra mobility. Oh god, that's a god thing. Kick it on Shoto! Estevella's Aikido unit is displaying abnormalities. What's wrong, Aikido? Aikido! Damn it! What the hell's wrong with me? I should be able to cope with the stress by now. I shouldn't be so afraid. Move! Move, damn it! Hey, Tenkawa! You stop moving! What's the hold up? Whoa! Akito, what's happening to you? Allow me to explain. I heard he was mortally afraid of battles. And while at first glance he may appear to be to have overcome his chronic fear of combat, the terror buried deep within his heart is not so easily a switch. Yes, his old fears have resurfaced in light of his recent experiences, especially the trauma of Jiro Jumata, Yamada's death. That, along with the recent events on Mars, has prompted this complex of his to manifest itself once again. No, you have to come back! Akito! Akito! Hey, Tenkawa! Eh? Stop being such a nuisance, Mr. Tenkawa. Here, hold on. Please take this one in, Nadeshiko. That's definitely an Estevalis, but who are you? You should state your name before asking for someone else's. 
is what I want to say, but we don't have time for that kind of nonsense either. I'm Akatsuki Nagare, assistant. Think of me as a man who fights for the flag of freedom, so to speak. Who is this guy? Another idiot. Do you know what those monsters out there are? They're a new kind of enemy which appeared on Earth while your crew was away. They're aliens. Aliens? Alright, Tenkawa unit recovered. Don't worry, the pilot's fine. Dr. Elizabeth is looking after him in the infirmary as we speak. Having a difficult battle, are we? The rest of you seem to be doing fine, at least. Who the heck are you? You should listen more carefully, my friend. As I'm already, as I already said, I'm an assistant, an employee of Nardal, just like you. But I've never, but I've never even seen a frame like yours. In what way, Hikaru? And which frame are you looking at? Yeah, there's nothing on you that proves you're our friend. My, aren't we fierce today? At any rate, it would be best to leave your questions for later. We have to take care of those monsters right now. Does that suit you, Captain? Understood. All right, everyone. Treat him like an ally and concentrate on defeating those monsters. Well, since you're supposed to be part of us... You're now officially part of the Nashiga. <laughs> yes, you are now officially part of the Nashiga. <laughs> we have given you the theme song. That is your code of honor. There you are. Yo yo! I got a cho dance, yo yo. A cho dance, she to my key. Cho dance, she's a pin. Mark him. The coup d'etat. Oh, the zoomy, really. Oh, he's zoomy. And propellant tank out of all this.
their fingers. Goodbye, sir. And Toya's support attack goes up by one. As well as a level. Someone's gonna get punched out now! And we got a cartridge out of that. I don't even want to know how the cartridge got in there to begin with. It make me all sort. It make me think all sorts of disgusting things right about now. That I just don't want to even think about. Crazy man. Well, I think we managed to scrape up a few ailing guts all over the place. You know? They're they've been splattered all over Cosmos. And no, we're not going to clean them up. <sighs> but we told you we didn't want that! But no. Cock Rookie! Since we've seen the, the cut cannon, have we seen something as explosive and more in your window than you think in a super robot fighting game?
We've detected another enemy force approaching. Please be careful. Well, Blum, what can we say? Fire the cock rocket! And on that note, fire the super duper kitty missiles as well. And fire the armpit spikes while you're at it. We're that far away, man. We can't do that. Tenkai? Ho! Tenkai Beam! Let's hit a can! Oof. So close. Even the, even the enemy can taste the derp in, in that one. And to finish things off, a little bit closer if a sea will play. Thank you. Twin Lanza! And Combatler V has gained a level. Oh, well, shit. There they are, damn monsters. Oh! What the heck is that? It's humanoid, and it's obviously different from those aliens. But what is it? Sorry, but I don't know either.
what, what I do know is that humanoid weapon isn't from Nergal, the Federation, or Zapt. But it's fighting against the aliens, right? But it's fighting against the aliens, right? What are you going to do, Captain? I try contacting it, but there's no answer. Let's just see how things play out. Maybe it's a good monster, as long as he doesn't try to attack us. I don't see a problem. Everyone, please be careful. Well, it's not like we can do anything else, eh? Meet our neutral party member, Techaman Blade. Now, Blade, of course, is, um, going to be the only neutral party member to deal with since we are since we are far off from actually dealing with the Rodham at, at this point. At this rate, what we're going to do is get there as close as we can. Oh, and by the way, if he if he loses, it's not the end. We're just going to try to get there as fast as we can possibly get there. Hi. Yeah, thanks for showing up. We are just going to, you know. We're just going to make short work of you. Over in our neck of the woods, we call Techman Blade Tech No Man. So his name will be Tech No Man Blade instead of Tech Command Blade. When I actually got the box set of the series, and I actually saw the you know the actual series, I was like, ooh. This made me forget everything I knew about Tech No Man. Since most of what I saw was basically cut, for what reason, I have no idea. Hi. Certain episodes got cut. Chodenshi! Yo-yo! Considering how many there are, as far as the bottom goes, I think we can wipe a few out before we reach the halfway point of this battle. Yeah, that's a that's a unit I can be proud of. Yes, me too. Yeah, that's a unit I can definitely be proud of.
What I can never understand is why people yearn for somebody to actually play the game straight through, and yet they get all oh, so pissy at, you know, how somebody else plays the game. I can never understand that, but that's the story for another time. See, that's helping a handbag right there. That's definitely helping a handbag. And I don't mind doing that. So what I think I'm going to do right here is I'm going to stop. And in the next part, with all of these Rodham and Tekken Man Blade helping us, I think this battle will be cleaned up in no time. So stay tuned. More of... Super Robot Tyson J in just a bit.